In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about chamfer depth. So on the screen here, I have a simple curve that I'm going to make into a pocket. So I'm going to select it, new feature, pocket, and I'm just going to say finish. Quick way to get there. We have a half inch deep pocket, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it I want a 125,000 chamfer on top. And I'm going to apply this. So you can see here that we graphically can see the chamfer. And over here, feature cam went into the tool crib and picked out a chamfering tool. Well, just for fun, let's say that I want to use a spot drill to do the chamfer. And let's use this half inch diameter spot drill here. So if we go ahead and play this in 3D, you can see here everything that's gonna happen. I'll just let it run through kind of fast. And there's our spot drill that was doing the chamfer. So one thing that people are not very familiar with is if I go to the front view, and I'm going to open up this feature and click on the chamfer and do a preview. I'm just going to kind of single step through. And it's a little hard to see because of the color. But if I zoom in, you can see this tool is at the depth and cutting the chamfer. But what, what feature cam defaults to is the tip of this tool is a certain depth below the actual chamfer itself. And that default value is 100 thousandths. So again, the distance from the bottom of the chamfer to the tip of the tool is 100 thousandths. Well, if I'm running a bunch of parts, this portion of the tool is going to start to wear. So we can change the distance which is called chamfer depth from the bottom of the chamfer to the tip of the tool. So I'm going to eject this. And if we highlight the operation called chamfer and go to the milling tab, there's this option here called chamfer depth. I'm going to change this to 30 thousandths. Set. So the little asterisk there means that's not one of the defaults. If I hit unset, it will put it back to the 0.1. I'm going to go ahead and preview this, apply it, and preview. And again, I'm going to single step. So here comes the tool. It feeds the depth, and then it's going to start cutting. But now the distance between here and here is only 30 thousandths. So that's a really nice little feature to control what portion of the tool is actually doing the cutting.